buddy. What's up, you guys? Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about nothing about surgery. We're gonna talk about the GT3. No, so really, what I want to say about this is a lot of you know, you guys uh, know that I got this. I put it on Instagram, all that stuff. The important thing about the this in your life, because you guys are probably in high school or college or medical school or whatever, is that, you know, these are really cool things to have and to get, but it sh it's also a byproduct. It's not the main reason you kind of, you know, sit in the chair and study for 12 hours a day. But it's a cool kind of like fringe benefit. But it also takes a really goddamn long time because like when I was 16, my mom was like, it's easy to decide what kind of job you wanna do as an adult, you just think about what kind of car do you want to have when you're 40? And I was like, oh, that's easy. I want a, I want a Ferrari. Like who doesn't, why doesn't all adults drive Ferraris if you just think of it like that? And although like that's probably not how you should decide to you know, go into medicine, it is a good incentive as well. But it can be your only incentive, I guess is what I'm saying. It's good to, to have these kind of goals and be able to achieve these kind of things. But like I said, it's a byproduct. I've kind of talked about this before. So. In this video though, I do want to talk to you about the car because it's super cool and I hope some of you guys out there are supercar fans and I guess you could call it supercar. It's like the supercar that you can drive like more than regular supercar. So it's a 2015 GT3. We'll walk around it real quick. It had 10,000 miles on it and I didn't get it new uh, because they drop off in value quite a bit but the supercars and exotic cars like kind of hold value after the couple first couple years and some of them even raise in value. So that's kind of where I tried to catch it. And even though like, you know, I'm a surgeon and I'm successful or whatever you want to say, like I'm not going to make dumb financial decisions, right? So my goal in this is to drive it for a little while and then sell it for close to how much I bought it for. So that way it doesn't cost me a lot and I get to enjoy the car. I think obviously a car like that takes a bigger down payment than most people are used to. So that's where my, the income from being a surgeon helps. But I still don't want to just blow all my money on a car that I think is gonna, over time, you know, possibly depreciate if I use it too much. So there was a couple options. I was thinking about the Turbo, right? Or the, just the Carrera S, but I really wanted a GT3, but GT3 is more expensive. And also I wanted a manual. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. A lot of you guys are like, why don't you get a manual? I'm gonna tell you why. I really want a GT3. I decided I want a GT3 instead of the turbo because it's more rare and I think it's gonna hold its value better. Turbo is actually faster than this car, but this car handles I think better. And it's more like a race car and the wing is badass, right? So we'll go off, walk around real quick. I got the, uh, everything's blacked out. It came with uh, tinted windows, blacked out wheels. I don't even know what wheels these are, honestly. Everybody asked me, but I, I like, I gotta find out. The person before me put the, like did all this stuff. Uh, it's cool, like the blacked out badges. I think like I would never change it out, but I really like the look of that. Cause like you can't really tell unless you're right on it that it's a GT3. So that's pretty dope. And for those of you guys that have no idea what a GT3 is, it's just like Gran Turismo uh, is the, or Gran Touring basically is the GT and the three class is essentially like a racing class. So there's like GT1, GT2, GT3. This is a three class. And that's what Porsche made that car for, for that specific class of racing. This is a three point, this I have a 3.8. So the, some of them are 4.0 liter. This is the 3.8 liter. That's the engine, it's a flat six. You guys probably already know this. The ones that are still watching this uh, video, you probably know all the specs on this car more than I do, but. Um, so I got black, it's black interior. The turbos and stuff, they have mostly leather, but this, these all have uh, like this Alcantara uh, stuff. And then on the uh, wheel is the same. And then the seats are the same. There's no seats in the back of this. The turbo, I think in the Carrera have actual pads and seats in the back. There's no seats in the back. So if you want to take your friends, they have to be small and they have to have a lot of cushion on their ass. I'll just tell you that, like I didn't get a manual and everybody's like, oh, what? you have to get a manual in this car. And I wanted to get a manual. My, my plan was I have to keep this car for a year, turn it in and get a manual. But you can only get the manual in 2000, I think 11 and before or 2018. 2018 is out of my price range. And actually 2011s, because they have manual, they're really high. They're like 200 grand. I have a friend that helped me with like deciding which car to get and stuff like that. And we decided that this is a good idea to do it for a little while because I've never had one of these cars. Plus, 
I didn't like want to screw the car up if I had a manual and jack it up driving. So I was like, okay, this is fine. But after 24 hours of driving this car so fucking fast, there is no way I could do the car justice with my manual skills. Even though I drove uh, a Mustang manual for like four years, three years. So it's not like I'm a you know beginner, but I'm also not a pro. There's no way I could shift that fast in this car to do it justice, to, to like make it worth getting the manual. Everything else is like standard. You got the paddle shifters here, all that good stuff. It's got all the Bluetooth, which is cool about the GT3 because it's like really a racing car, but it has all the regular stuff too. It's got a radio, satellite radio. It's got Bluetooth, blah, 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 all that. So maybe I'll just start it up for a second. I think that's about it. I just want to do a quick video for you guys. A couple of you guys uh, asked me if I could do one. So there you go. Hope you like it.